Hey guys, so this video is going to be a tutorial on three different looks that you can use whenever you're running on second, third, or fourth day hair. I've had a lot of requests for this video, so I figured I'd sit down today and film it for you. Hopefully you can find a hairstyle that you would want to try out, and if you do, don't forget to send me a picture. I'll leave all my links down below, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so obviously if you're running on second, third, or fourth day hair, sometimes you need a dry shampoo. I know I do because I have very oily hair. And I'm using the Batiste Dry Shampoo. This one's the Hint of Color for deep, dark brown hair. I love this one if you have really dark hair. I highly recommend it. It doesn't leave a white cast in your hair or anything. So I'm just spraying this all over where it's really oily and then rubbing it in. And then I'm going to split my hair in half and brush out the hair so we can get all the tangles out and also any excess dry shampoo. And yeah, at this point I was seeing how I looked with the middle part and I kind of wasn't feeling it. <laughs> what do you think? Let me know. Okay, so for the first hairstyle, we're going to take everything to the side. I'm taking it all to my right hand side and I'm going to act like, you know how when you're a girl and you kind of flip your hair over? That's basically what you're doing. <laughs> you're just kind of flipping your hair over so you're going to have a really nice deep side part. And you can do this on any side, the left or the right. And I'm just going to drag all my hair around and we are going to use these elastics which are dark. So they're great for dark hair because if you use clear elastics on dark hair you can really see them. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and put this in a side pony and tie it just a couple times. And the first braid we're going to do is a bubble braid. Um, I know a lot of you have seen this before but we're going to put a little bit of twist on this one. So after I've got it all to the side I'm going to kind of pull the hair, kind of create some more volume, make it a little bit loose and just not so perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to take an elastic and go about two and two and a half, three inches down and put an elastic here. Kind of looks like a little bubble already. But we're going to split that in half like so and then we're going to flip the ponytail in that hole. And to me it kind of creates a faux fishtail kind of look which is what I think it looks like but I love this. Um, and then the next one we're just going to start twisting this like so. You just want to twist it. It's pretty self-explanatory and then we're going to tie it after about three twists. And this is what's going to make it a little bit different. And so then you're going to do the bubble braid again so tie it about two inches down like that. And then you want to make a little hole in between the hair and then flip the ponytail through. Now I'm just pulling at the braids making everything a little bit looser and much more full so it doesn't look like we have just a little bit of hair on the side of our head. <laughs> and then when I got to the very end I noticed there was too much hair going out so I just ended up twisting it again like this, tying it and then I was pretty much done. But now I'm going to take some hair on the side of my face down. You can leave your bangs back if you want to but I just brought them forward a little bit. And of course I was kind of pumping up the back and giving my hair some more volume. But that's pretty much the first look. It's super, super easy and it's just a really cute kind of braid. And you're incorporating the bubble braid with like a twist. It's just really cute and I like it a lot. Okay, so this next one's a little bit more fancy. We're still going to go with the nice deep side part. And we are going to be twisting down the side of our head. So you just want to twist, add some hair, twist, add some hair. I am not a good braider, especially when I have to do it on the side of my head. Um, so twisting is a little bit easier. It still didn't come out as perfect as I wanted it to, but you know, you get the point of how I wanted it to look. So I'm just twisting it all the way down and then tying it with an elastic. And then what we're going to do after you've finished that is we're going to put everything back into a ponytail and I kind of brushed the back a little bit. I want there to be a good bit of volume kind of at the crown so I pushed it up and then of course tied it and then um, once I tightened the ponytail I kind of pulled the hair a little bit more just to create some more volume. 
Now for this one we're going to be using a bun maker and you're just going to put your hair through the hole. It's just like creating a sock bun on the top of your head but it's a little bit more difficult because we're doing it at the lower part. So you just want to make sure you kind of wrap your hair around evenly. If it's not perfect, don't worry. You see how messy mine is but it ends up coming together perfectly at the end. So just keep rolling it. I promise you, you can basically mold the hair to go back into it and it looks like you took forever on this. So you can see how it looks a little bit messed up, but I'm just going to take those hairs and kind of move them around, tuck them in, and literally your hair will stay like this all day because this bun maker, you can get it from Claire's. It's so good. It like holds your hair in place. It's insane. So after you fixed your bun, you're pretty much done and I really like it. It's a great way to get your hair completely out of your face for the day and yet you still look like you took forever on it, but really it didn't take long at all. Now you guys know I love my buns so I am going to put my hair up in a ponytail and if you don't have a soft bun this is an alternative that you can do. So I just put my hair up in a really high bun and I tied it pretty tight and I kind of felt like genie right here. So um, <clears throat> what we're going to do is take a teasing comb. You can take any teasing comb you have and we're just going to tease this pony because we want to have a lot of texture with this bun because we want it to stay in place all day since we don't have like a soft bun or anything like that. So after you've pretty much got everything teased, you kind of want to smooth it out. You don't want to like brush it completely out because you still want to have that tease. But you don't want everybody to see that you added some <laughs> texture into your hair so your hair doesn't look crazy. And we're going to just wrap this around the ponytail. And basically it's going to kind of look like a ballerina bun. Um, mine didn't turn out as high as I wanted it to, but it turns out the same way. And so as I'm going, I kind of see pieces that need to be teased a little bit more just so that they do stay in place all day. And like I said, I am wrapping it and just kind of molding it with my hands and getting it exactly how I want it. So just poofing it up, wrapping it around, and then I'm twisting the ends and I'm going to tuck this underneath the bun so you can't see it and then secure it in place with bobby pins. After playing with it and getting it how I wanted, I had some little baby hairs just kind of poking up and being stubborn, so I just hairsprayed them down. And again, this will also help the bun stay in place all day. And then that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like it if you did like it and subscribe to my channel so you can stay tuned for more videos. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.